Hello guys, I'm Bo Miles, and today we're going to look at your favorite composer's manuscript paper with bar lines and without bar lines. So let's go ahead and start with the without bar lines. All right, looking here, you see that we have uh, eight staffs for you guys to write your compositions on. Um, looking at the first page here, you guys get your titles that you can write and the page number as you assign them to your work. Here you have nice, nice size staffs. This is beautiful, big. You don't have to worry about squinting. You just get your compositions down. All right. Another thing, uh, of course, you have 86 pages, but on the back, you can write your title as well. This way, you guys know which book has what information. Now, they did a really good job with this cover. I really do like the fact, uh, like the material. However it's printed, I really do like, like that. Now, let's go ahead and look at with bar lines. So, if we look at one <clears throat> with bar lines, you see that we have four measures on each staff. This way you don't have to write them out yourself. And if you're doing chord changes, you can just write your chord changes right at the top and you're gonna be ready to go. You can just write all of your changes. You can write your melodies, your chords, you can combine them. So the main reason that someone's gonna pick this up is they really don't wanna keep writing their staffs in there. Their compositions are are four to eight bar compositions. Now you you might want to go with the barless ones if you know that you want to get maybe as more bang for your buck. You want to put I don't know maybe six or seven measures on a staff, right? So it's up to you. But here again um, on the back, of course you can write the name that you want and you're good to go. So here we have with bar lines, you get four measures, and then here you have without bar lines. So thanks for checking it out, and you guys have a great day.